Does it feel like Hong Kong's economy is going to recover to 3% growth this year? We are seeing uh, signs that there's been a sequential acceleration in January. So that's the good news. Uh, the bad news, of course, is that we have a third year of contraction. That's the third in the last five years since 2019. And that contraction was much uh, faster than we had anticipated. So our forecast was minus 2.8%. Um, and the consensus in the market was minus 3, that the, uh, the outcome was minus 3.5%. So that will probably have implications uh, in terms of how much fiscal space, for example, there is to, to support the economy um, in 2023. But overall, since um, especially the uh, border reopening with mainland China, and of course Hong Kong has been gradually lifting some of its virus containment measures you know, since October, the mood is, is definitely more positive. So we are confident that we should be in a position to return to expansion in 2023, um, not only because of uh, mainland tourists um, returning after the reopening, but of course we have more supportive equity valuations. That's helping, definitely helping with sentiment in, in Hong Kong. Um, and you also have this expectation that the Fed will hike rates um, at a more modest pace um, in 2023 with the expectation that at some point the sea will have a pause. And that means that this um, pro-cyclical headwind that we've been experiencing in Hong Kong with a tighter monetary policy as the economy is slowing down uh, will, will not be such a big drag in the year ahead. So hopefully those three factors together um, will contribute to an expansion of around 3%, uh, which is, of course, above potential for this year. Um, but we, we do need to uh, monitor uh, the situation going forward as there are some things that, that could derail that growth as well. Carlos, where does this leave uh, the outlook for Hong Kong's services sector growth? Mm -hmm. Well, remember that services are coming from a very contractionary, um, I would say, you know, five-year period. But throughout 2022, we've seen uh, contraction every single quarter. So we are going from a very fragile situation. Services are naturally going to experience the biggest rebound post-reopening. We are seeing that in the PMI numbers, um, both onshore or in, in our own mainland and also in Hong Kong. Um, but we do think that it's a little bit early to remove support to the service sector, given how negative the situation has been. Uh, in particular, we think that um, uh, when they deliver that budget in February 22nd, we should see support measures to SMEs in the service sector. They do account for a big chunk of employment. I mean, it's one of the pillar industries, but I think in terms of employment, they do account for a bigger share um, than some of the other pillar industries in Hong Kong. Um, so we do think that they will deliver some support to those uh, firms. They are uh, expected to have a good year, but uh, many of them are coming from a very weak position, so we can't exclude the possibility of further you know, insolvencies or bankruptcies or smaller guys uh, struggling to make it through even as things do look to improve in the months ahead.